air squats are probably the most essential movement that you can do in any fitness facility. It's gonna be the base and the foundation of a lot of other exercises like the back squat, the front squat, a thruster, an overhead squat, anything else, you name it, some form of the air squat is gonna come into play. So it's really important to be able to do them properly. The way I like to teach an air squat is to start from the bottom up. So I'll set my feet about shoulder, anywhere from hip to shoulder width apart. My toes are gonna be slightly pointed out and I'll try to grip the ground with my toes. Once I've got my feet set, I'm gonna initiate the movement with my chest nice and tall by pushing my hips back slightly and then sinking my body down until my hips are just below parallel. And then I'm gonna stand all the way back up giving myself a little squeeze at the top of my core, my glutes, and my legs to make sure I've reached a good finishing position. That's also a good reminder when you're squatting as to where you want to get back to after you've gone all the way down. So tense up here, go down, come back up to that tense position at the top. Air squats are awesome as an exercise because they're going to work pretty much your entire body. Obviously, we're working our lower body, our calves, our quads, our hamstrings, our glutes, you are gonna be contracting your core at the top. So an air squat does it all. If you do enough of them at a fast enough pace, you're also gonna get that heart rate up and get breathing pretty quickly. There are some killer workouts that are based around the air squat. And when you do high volume air squats, that's one exercise for me that leaves my legs so sore the next day. And recovering with the Mark Pro is super important. I feel like one of my favorite spots to use the Mark Pro actually is on my quads because it's just so easy and it's such a large piece of muscle, if you're lucky. Now you can put a pad right here at the bottom and then somewhere up at the top, I like to try to flex my leg and find this little chunky muscle up here. I wanna say that it's part of the sartorius, but I'm probably wrong, so we might have to cut that clip out. But a pad here and a pad down there, and just let those quads pump away and flush out all that surface. Even though it's such a simple movement, there are so many things that can go wrong during an air squat. Things that we want to avoid would be putting our weight forward and coming up onto our toes, avoiding putting that pressure on our knees. You want to try to keep your knees tracking out over your toes, not let them buckle in on you as you stand up. We want to try to not to round our back as we go down into the squat. If we can simply keep our knees tracking over our toes, our weight back in our heels, and our chest up nice and big, that's going to be a pretty close to perfect air squat.